Hey guys, it's Jarek there, Dragon from RDA. Got another review today. This one is of a very special gun. This one is anticipated by a lot of people. Actually, it wasn't anticipated. They didn't know where I was going to get one. They didn't think I could. Uh, I'm basically getting this one for all the viewers out there for supporting me. I'm not much of a Glock fan, but I was able to grab one, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be very happy with this. So, I've already given it up. This is of the Army Armament R17, or their Chrome Glock 17, as you will know it. Now, I only have one of these, and these things are very hard to get. So, I'm going to try to pick up as many as I can throughout the time, but probably only about two or four every other month or so. If you want one of these, you got to pick it up ASAP before it's gone. It's kind of on a first... Whoever sees it first gets it. Uh, I will keep it updated on the actual web page, which there's a link down below to the direct page. If it says no ETA and not available above the Add to Cart button, and it'll tell you to select a product variant or something like that when you try to add it to the cart, it means it's not available and I don't have an ETA. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get more. So don't ask in an email or something like that. I obviously don't know. All right, so let's move on to the actual review now. All right, so here's the box, and the box is actually a lot nicer than I was anticipating. So you can see it says R17, and up here it says model third generation, so they've, they've worked this one out quite a bit. And you can tell, let's open up the box, and you get a fancy instruction manual. It's pretty simple, it says R17 instead of Glock 17, obviously, they don't want to get sued. Not that I don't think China would really care. Uh, there's quite a bit of Chinglish in here. And the whole front portion of it is in Chinese, and then you skip back here, and it will be in English. But it tells you more than enough if you need to use it. And then, this is to my surprise, actually nice styrofoam, and the way it's packaged is very nice. So it's got a pretty nice box, and I just wasn't anticipating it. Uh, what it comes with is one of these Do Not Eat packets. It's very tempting. Some... Super BB pellets. Don't use these. They're not very good. They could break in your gun, scratch up your barrel, ruin the piston, totally kill it. One Glock magazine. However, this is fully compatible with any other Tokimori Glock magazines. This uses the Tokimori system and not the KDB Way system. So KDB Way mags won't work this, but any other Glock mags will. And then you got the Chrome Glock 17. Let's get this box out of the way. Which actually, I was very surprised. The thing is really nice quality. Army has definitely been working on their gas blowlicks. Their gas blowlicks, I gotta say, are a lot better than their AEGs out there. Not that their L85 is really that bad, just these by far surpass the quality. The grip is ABS plastic that is very, very solid. And this gun feels, it's so balanced, it feels light. Not in a bad way, in a good way. It feels really, actually pretty nice. The slide itself is, it feels like machined aluminum. It's not pop metal or die cast metal. And the magazine is very solid. I've had no gas leaks, no problems whatsoever. So as a whole, I think Army Armament might as well just start doing gas bull X only because they're doing a very good job. Now I'll move to what you all want to see, the trademarks. Start with the most obvious ones, the Glock trademarks right on the front. So you can see the standard Glock 17 trademark, Austria 9x19mm, which is the actual bullet size. And once again, you see on top up here, 9x19. Flip it over to this side, you got some unique serial numbers. Which I don't know if you can see that, but there's one on the chamber right there as well, and I actually didn't notice it until a little bit later. On the grip, it, for some reason, says gas blowback system. There's, there's really not much point to that at all. But, on the other side, it has another Glock trademark. There you go. As you can see, it says Glock, and it has that Glock logo. Then if you eject the magazine, it doesn't say Glock anywhere on it, but it does have the numbers on the back, as if showing how many bullets you have left in the magazine. So, it, there's trademarks all over this gun. Very, very nice trademarks, and I was pleasant. I, I really liked to see that, especially on this side. And I gotta say this, because I know I'm gonna, gonna get a lot of questions. I know I don't like Glocks that much. Glocks are not my favorite gun in the world. 
However, Glocks sell very well and I am running a business. I can't go off of what I like and what I like only. I have to listen to what people like and this is kind of a gift to all my viewers for always being there for quite a long time. So thanks to everyone out there uh, watching all these videos. Now let's move back on with the review. I'm going to go ahead and load this up, gas this up a little bit. This is a fully, this is a clone of Tokimuri's Glock 17. And they cloned it so well, they actually even cloned the way the gas flow valve overflows. Honestly, this kind of bugs me. And you'll see what I mean when I start to fill this up. Gas will kind of pour out like that. And that's all I'm going to fill up. I'm not going to bother fully filling it up. But gas will kind of overflow so you don't fill the magazine up too much. This really only matters if you have a plastic gun. With a metal slide, there's really no reason to even do that. So they were just cloning the way TM did it and added metal. Well, let's go ahead and shoot it. It's got pretty solid recoil on it. There's no BB so it'll lock back. Alright, as you can see I didn't load it up that much, so it ran out of gas kind of quick. But when you have this fully gassed up, you can get about two and a quarter magazines out on the 70 degree day. A lot of that has to do with the fact that the slide is very light in the design of the slide. Uh, the way this is is kind of a box, and this shape is very, very sturdy. So it makes it very lightweight as well, just to the way it is. And it's made out of aluminum, so it's got this fast cycle rate and light slide. Another feature I forgot to mention is it has the double safety trigger. Let's see if I can show you this. It has the double safety trigger here. If you push on the side, nothing will happen. It will not pull the trigger. You've got to push on the middle and the trigger will go off. And something I forgot to point out, but it's very obvious, I'm sure you've noticed it, this is a chrome model. And personally, I do like the way that chrome looks on guns. I was getting a little more interesting gun when I got it. Also, I couldn't get the black one because it was currently out of stock. Like I said, these are really hard to get. But I did get the chrome one, the kind of two-tone, and it looks overall very nice finish. I was, I was actually very surprised at that as well. Something else I also forgot to show you, it does come with this magazine, but it is compatible with other Glocks. I told you that, but I'm going to show you. Here's the HFC Darkhawk, which is a custom Glock. Take out this magazine here. And there you go. Making sure it'll lock in place. But yes, yeah, so this magazine does work and I have tested it inside the gun. So I just felt like showing it that every other Tokimuri compatible Glock magazines will work in this gun. This is compatible with all Tokimuri compatible parts. So that means KJW, HFC, Tokimuri, pretty much every company but KWA, their parts are compatible here. Well, KWA and KSC. KW and KSC won't work in here, everything else will. Since it's also using the same design, you take it apart the same way as actually every other Glock out there. You pull down these little tabs on the side of the gun, there's one on each side. Then you pull back on the mag on the slide and then let it slide forward. And this is also where the hop unit is unveiled, which is a little wheel, much like your standard 1911 hop up. I found it to be very nice. The gun is overall pretty accurate. 150 feet, you're able to hit a man sized target, and that's about its furthest range. You can't hit anything more than that. But 150 feet with a pistol, a gas bullet pistol shooting at 315 feet per second, that's good, that's really good. And to put it back together, it's a simple, oh, oh, before I forget, uh, you want to lube up these rails, because at first, when you first get it, it will be bone dry. Uh, there will be absolutely nothing on it. It'll be really clean, no grease or anything, but it'll be bone dry. So you want to put some silicone oil on the rails that this slides on, just to make it work a little bit more smoothly. But just slide it back on the rail, insert the magazine, and there you go, good to go. The sights are your standard Glock sights. They have the white paint on them, which makes it a lot easier to aim than other ones. And you can even see it from back there. It's, it's overall very, very nice, nice sighting. Something I've always liked. The gun does also feature a rail in the front if you'd like to add a laser or a flashlight or anything you wish. Other than that, I think I've covered everything now, and a little bit more. So again, if you want to buy this gun, they're going to run out real quick. There's a link down below in video information. There's also a link below to RDA's forum. We can talk to the community.
So with that said, that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's review of the Army Armament Glock 17 in Chrome.